feel like these videos now is Una just trying to get her 15 minutes of fame. She's always in and out, aren't you? Ah. Mm. You let me get on with the video now. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neve, and I'd love to give you all a very warm welcome. Before we get on with the video, I would just like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you because you guys have given me a confidence I never knew I had. But yes, a massive thank you. As today's title suggests, it is my May reading wrap up and my June TBR. I had to think about that then, guys. I was like, can't be near June already. But we are literally next week. Crazy. No, tomorrow. Crazy. Oh my God. Can you tell that my brain is still processing how quickly this year is going? Unbelievable. I cannot believe we're already doing my May reading wrap up. It feels like not long ago we were doing the May TBR, like what? If you are new here guys, how I like to do my reading wrap ups and TBRs, I like to put them together because I feel like they go quite nicely together and it's just easier and organised for me to do it. <laughs> In my previous video I did mention how I like to rate my books and everything so be sure to check that out if you've not seen it. We're going to kick off today's video with my May reading wrap up. So for May I wanted to give myself a challenge but also not a big challenge because my reading had slowed down with what I was reading. As seen in my previous video in my May TBR, I got myself a collection of different genres, which I was quite looking forward to. And I'm happy to say that I managed to get through the whole four books. It is a record that I want to keep going. So the first book that I was reading in May, I sort of started at the end of April, but I finished it in May and that was the second book in the King of Sins series by Anna Huang and this is the King of Pride. This one follows Kai and Isabella. Um, can I just say this couple, I feel like their intelligence just helped boost their charisma and their charm and their chemistry. Part of me did struggle because Kai is British and um, when I was reading it I always just had like an American sort of twang to him but yeah Isabella, oh my goodness, she made me laugh out loud. She was bold, strong woman, wanting to write this book. I want to say the dynamics that they have in this book. It wasn't something like, too strong or in your face. It was quite nice and delicate and gently brought in. But it was such, I enjoyed it. It was a good book. So I rated King of Pride a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it and I cannot wait to read the next one and I have seen it in the works and I keep eyeing it up but I'm trying to save my money because I keep buying books and I've got so many to still read. Then following on from King of Pride, I read, I love how Goodreads have it as 3.5, three and a half, but it is the, do I class it as four books then? The fourth book? I don't really know. I'll just, I'll just say how it is described on Goodreads. So I read A Court of Frost and Starlight. Um, again, I don't know what to class it as. The fourth book or the three and a half book. But yes, it's just a nice small snippet of the winter solstice happening um, in the night court. If you are new to my channel, I have fallen in love with Sarah J Mass's writing. Um, her storytelling. Akita has become one of my favourite series and it is one that I just think people need like you don't have to read but I recommend reading it because it's just so well thought of with the dynamics, the, the cities and everything. But I've just really been enjoying it. And you know what? It's quite nice getting to see sort of like a behind the scenes of what is happening in the Akita series. Um it was so nice seeing more of the background characters, her sisters, and I just cannot wait to read the next one. I rated it a four out of five stars because it was just really nice and cute and it was all like Christmassy and like wintry. 
it was just a really nice read. Then the next book that I read is a new series and that is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, this is the first book in the Shatter Me series. Not gonna lie, I have not really read or looked into much about this series. I've only gone in with the recommendation of my cousin. And when I Snapchatted her saying, look what I'm reading, she was like, yes, you're gonna love it. And you know what, that's exactly what I did. Oh my goodness, it was very dystopian. And you know what, I was here for it. There were some scenes that remind me of some of these films, like you got your Divergence, your Hunger Games. It definitely follows along those lines, but not quite. Um, Juliet, oh my goodness, you can see the vulnerability that she has in the writing. The way that Juliet and Adam's relationship resurfaces and how that's written, I was like, oh my goodness. I literally got through this in a day, I wanna say. Yeah, a day like it was just so good and it was such a fast paced read as well even though it went fast there was so much information and like everything happening and it was just such a good read and i cannot wait to read the next book i gave shatter me four out of five stars so still very good then the last book that i read in may is the second book of the chestnut spring series and that is heartless by elsie silver um this series has a place in my heart. It's got the rom-com. Again, I'm going to mention it. If you're not from the UK, I don't know if other countries have it. There is a channel on our movies called Movies 24. And they have a lot of Canadian films shown on there. And it just reminds me of one of those books. Um, books. It just reminds me of one of those films. I don't know why, it just makes me feel very nostalgic because I used to watch them with, like them films with my grandparents when I was younger. But yeah, it was such a good book. Cade and Willa. These two, they literally made me laugh out loud at points. It was so good. Like their relationship was so good and how Luke was intertwined. I just really, really enjoyed it. And I love how you had the inserts from the characters previous. How Summer and Rat still intertwined that whole family of brothers and her sister. It was just such a good book. And as I say, this series has a little place in my heart. I just, I'm just falling in love with cowboys and romances. <laughs> it's like, oh, so cute. And I love the cover of the Katahdin hat. Oh, so cute such a good one i rated heartless five out of five stars cuts it was just so cute and i just love that story it was it had a bit of a slow burn but not so it went quickly and then slowly in some places but all in the right places so now it is time to look at my june tbr um again i have gone for four books and again they are a mixture of genres so it was quite exciting so the first book i have already started and that is the final book in the dreamland billionaire series so this is the final offer this follows callahan and elena and their whole side of the bargain with the grandpa's will um so far i'm really, really enjoying it i still got a way to go but i'm so into it already i'm just like ready for them twists ready Got to mention, Dreamland Billionaire series is written by Lauren Asher. Such a good writer, in my opinion. Such a good writer. I'm the Kane brother everyone gossips about behind closed doors. Trust fund brat. Washed up athlete, high functioning alcoholic. No one knows the real me but her, Lana Castillo. My childhood best friend and the only woman I ever loved. When I broke her heart six years ago, I promised to never return to Lake Wisteria. I kept my word until my grandfather's will changed everything. To receive my inheritance, I was tasked with spending a summer at the family lake house before selling it. The request was simple in theory until my entire plan blew up on the very first day. Turns out Lana didn't just live at the house, but she claims to own it too. Falling in love with Callahan Kane was a mistake. He told me so before destroying my heart and our friendship six summers ago. When he promised never to come back, I foolishly believed him. But then Cal showed up again, intending to sell his grandfather's lake house, the biggest flaw in his plan. My name is on the deed. So I'm looking forward to it. And that book is Her Majesty's Royal Coven 
This is by Juno Dawson. So the stickers are still on there. That is one thing I I always struggle with is taking stickers off because I normally rip it. But yes, like look at this cover. Like look at it. Oh, I'm I'm a sucker for bright colours like this. Like the pinks and yellows. Yes, it attracts the eye, and that's what it did. So as I said, I've not heard anything by Juno Dawson, and do you know what? I'm quite looking forward to it because I feel like it's gonna be witchy with the whole coven sort of thing and the star. I think that's a witchy star, but I can't. Don't like, don't take my word for it. Hidden among us is a secret coven of witches, confidential, known as Her Majesty's Royal Coven. They protect crown and country from magical forces and otherworldly evil, but their greatest enemy will come from within. There are whisperings of a prophecy that will bring the coven to its knees, and four best friends are about to be caught at the centre. Life as a modern witch was never simple, but now it's about to get apocalyptic. Love that. So again, this is like a genre that I don't really go for, but I am here for it. I am really looking forward to it. That is one of my things this year. I really want to branch out on different genres of books because I feel like sometimes I stick to the same books and I just want to change it up, add a bit of spice to it. Then the next book is one that I've had on my shelf for a while. Um, I believe it had some hype, but I was a bit late to the hype. But that is a Babble, and this is by R. F. Kwong. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, again, I am in love with this cover with the metallic, the writing, like the little pattern behind the fonts. I'm. I'm just a sucker for covers and if they're, especially if they're pretty and cute and just really nice to out of the eye. Oxford 1836, the city of dreaming spires. It is the centre of all knowledge and progress in the world. And at its heart is Babel, Oxford University's prestigious Royal Institute of Translation. The tower from which all the power of the empire flows, orphaned in Canton and brought to England by a mysterious guardian, Robin Swift fought Babel a paradise until it became a prison. But can a student stand against an empire? I just can't wait to read this because it's been sitting on my bookshelf for a little bit now and I just want to get into it and read it. The last book I decided to put in my TBR is a little bit of a cutesy one and that is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe and this is by Laurie Gilmore. Um, again, that name just, just makes me think of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> again, this cover and I just think, it's just so cute. When Jeannie's aunt gifts her the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of Dream Harbour, Jeannie jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Logan is a local farmer who avoids James Harbour's gossip at all costs. But Jeannie's arrival disrupts Logan's routine and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl, except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her. Will Jeannie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan? Or has this city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? This just screams cosiness. So this is going to be a nice one just to read up in cuddled in a blanket, even though it's been quite warm here. Just a nice cosy read. I feel like this would be a good one to end on for like the TBR. Because if any of these are a bit heavy... But well, this would just be a nice little cutesy little finisher, but yes, I cannot wait to read this. There we have it. We have come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed my reading wrap up and my TBR. Um, I cannot wait to get into these books. With this TBR coming up, part of me wants to do a reading vlog. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. One of you lovely people requested a book collection. Um, that will be coming up. Um, I just have to organise and sort out all my books first, but it is in the works and it will be here very soon. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and like. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!